please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Diagnosing and Resolving Subprocess Failures in Python 3.x Introduction Subprocesses in Python allow you to spawn new processes, connect to their input-slash-output-slash-error pipes, and obtain their return codes. While subprocesses are powerful, issues may arise, leading to failures. This tutorial will guide you through understanding and resolving subprocess failures in Python 3.x. Common causes of subprocess failures. Command not found or incorrect path. Ensure that the command you are trying to run is installed and accessible from the system's path. If the command requires a specific path, provide the full path to the executable. Incorrect arguments. Check if the arguments passed to the subprocess are correct. Incorrect arguments may lead to unexpected behavior or failure. Working directory issues. Be mindful of the working directory from which the subprocess is executed. If the command relies on specific files or paths, set the working directory appropriately. Permissions Verify that the user running the Python script has the necessary permissions to execute the subprocess command and access any required resources. Environment variables some commands may depend on specific environment variables. Ensure that the required environment variables are set before running the subprocess. Code example. Let's consider a simple example where we use the subprocess module to run a command that lists the files in the current directory. In this example, we use the subprocess.run function to execute the lsl command. The check equals true parameter raises a called process error if the subprocess returns a non-zero exit code. Handling subprocess failures. Error handling. Wrap the subprocess call in a try except block to catch and handle called process error. Extract information such as return code, stout, and stare for debugging. Logging. Utilize Python's logging module to log information about the subprocess execution. This can aid in diagnosing issues. Verbose output. Include verbose output in your script for debugging purposes. Print relevant information about the subprocess execution to the console. Conclusion. Subprocess failures can be caused by various factors and understanding these factors is crucial for effective debugging. By implementing proper error handling, logging, and debugging techniques, you can identify and resolve subprocess issues in your Python scripts. ChatGPT